I mean, in particular, I think this is one of the best builds we ever we ever did. It took us about a month and a half, two months more than we expected. Totally, completely nailed this bike down for being a Bobber Pro Straight. Like, it, it looks brand new, but it is down and dirty. And, and I'll tell you what, I rode it, and it's it's probably one of the best riding bikes uh, for a Bobber that, that we've ever done since 2003. So I am, I'm pretty ecstatic about the bike, and I'm gonna try to get in a couple magazines, and uh, I, I think people will, will love to put it in, too. It's D-Day today, picking up the bike, taking her home. She, she was spit shined and all the little details gone over and she looks pretty sick. Love everything about the bike. We nailed the graphics almost dead on what my uh, partner came up with and um, everything about it's sick. It's 110% it's, it, you put into this thing, it's awesome. Overall, I think everybody did the fabrication really well. Uh, the bike just looks sick and the paintwork turned out phenomenal. I like the second design he picked out. And I really feel that, uh, I, th I think the build went really well. Uh, probably a little longer than what that guy expected, but you know, you're building a bike in the middle of peak season, it's kind of hard to get everybody on the same page. Um, but as long as at the end of the day, if people forget how long it took because of how nice the product is, then that's the bottom line. First time ever seeing the bikes from uh, Death Row, it's, they're awesome bikes. They're amazing looking. They put a lot of work into them, that's for sure. Outstanding paint. I've never saw a paint job on a bike that's looked half as good as that. And just like the the artwork and like effort put into building that is just amazing. I have never in my life saw a cooler looking bike. The overall outlook on the bike. I, I really like the way the bike sits. Handles nice. Uh, beautiful bike to ride. Um, not much I'd like to change about the bike, uh, except like the handlebars. I'd like to see the handlebars down under the top tree, maybe give it like a cafe style race. But uh, we built it where the customer wanted it, and all in all, it turned out pretty well. There's our horn. We got to change that. That's disgusting. I definitely want to thank Frank and the guys. Uh, I know Scott put in a lot of time when, when Kevin left, and um, even Dave on the graphics. You know, he, he swamped. Um, doing all his tattoos and stuff. I, I know I know these guys put in some crazy man hours at the end, getting things right. Um, everyone that had a hand in it, uh, I, I appreciate everything. It, it came out great. Yeah, looking back, it, it's it's definitely, um, there's definitely a lot more involved than what, what, it, what it looks like, even that you see on shows and stuff. I mean, it, it's the time that they, they put in, and, and me and Frank together, putting ideas together. Uh, it's it's a, it's a task to, to do a bike from scratch, and, and these guys, they, they pulled through and it came out awesome. Today we wet sand in the frame and we're painting it black, even though it's so freaking hot out. <laughs> I don't know. Let's suck that over. What's going on now, Frank? Just got a lot of steel in my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs>